As we know, the Midwest continues its recovery from these powerful weekend storms. Devastation covering a huge area with little explanation for those affected. Jim Cantori and Dr. Greg Forbes take a look at the erratic nature of tornadoes, showing us how one house can be destroyed and the next door untouched. And with a recent tornado outbreak, uh, we were reminded of just how incredible tornadoes can be in terms of their power. But they also sometimes do some funny things. It appears like they skip around, miss some homes completely, while others are flattened. There are reasons for all this, and Dr. Forbes is here to tell me why. Yeah, I'm going to talk about what really appears to be haphazard, really is kind of usually organized structure of the tornado itself. Now, one thing is that over time, the tornadoes can change intensity. They can form, they intensify, they may weaken, maybe they'll re-intensify again and then finally dissipate. And so depending on what time you get hit by the tornado in its life cycle, you could get different winds. But then also the winds vary in strength across the tornado path at any particular time. This is Washington, Illinois, and before and after this nice community, these square asphalt shingled roofs has been rendered into a lot of destruction. But the destruction varies. You see some places right about in here where about all you can see is uh, piles of rubble that are left by contrast, you see some places here where you can see most of the roof is still standing, most of the walls still standing, a little bit of brown there where some of the uh, roofing has been taken off. Now, typically there's a core right down the middle and just slightly to the right of where the tornado path is, where the rotation and the tornado's own forward speed add up. But uh, there are other things as well, Jim. The uh, We can have substructure within the tornado. There could be multiple funnels that revolve about that. We can see... It looks like tornadoes you know, rotating around yeah, the tornado. tornadoes within the tornado. We can see some of that here. If we roll the video, what starts out as one tornado funnel then begins to break down. There you can begin to see it going a little bit farther and farther. Now you see a couple of funnels uh, there, yes. pausing it right there, left and right. So those are actually mini tornadoes within the tornado. You can have uh, counterclockwise rotation in each of those, low pressure in each of those, inflow in each of those, and places that get hit by those have faster winds, often 50 to 100 mile per hour stronger than places that get miss so one place can be destroyed right across the street can almost be standing un untouched and like we see in that picture thanks for us we appreciate that explanation